able to stock up so I ain't got to uh, reboot already. Ah, Hello everyone, my name's Patter Familius, and today we're going to be playing Zucosis. Um, been waiting for this game to come out for quite some time, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Not to involve the police or other law enforcement agencies regarding. Let's not waste time here. You'll be sitting here all night, and I've got more important things to attend to. Let me tell you something, Paul. Oliver. I guess you're Oliver. I don't sign schnit without reading it, okay, buddy? All right? So, uh... Okay. Sure, let's go. All right, I'm going to take a poop, boss, and I'll be there. Don't worry. Oh, my gosh. I was like, I thought I ain't got a poop, boss. Um, look like somebody already beat me to it. There you go. That's what I thought. Hey, uh. Boss, it's a little creepy out here, man. I ain't gonna lie. Da 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 da. What the fuck? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. And that's some bullshit. Yet. Got the bucket. Hey, giraffe. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Y'all are looking at me awfully hard. I don't know. He's growling at me, bro. Where do I put this stuff at? Put it up here? Um, I'm looking. Chill the frick out. Did you? Never pet that dog. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? That was the achievement I just got. Oh, yeah. I got the achievement to pet that dog. Hey, 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 hey. I don't feel like this is enough food for y'all, but, uh... Where the frick does it? Oh, feeding here. I knew that. Alright. Feed, feed, feed. That looks like a lot of slop. I'm sorry. That doesn't look like. Oh, hey. Thanks. All right. Well, um, let's see what I do now. Pour the food in the bucket. Let's see. Return the bucket to the gadget truck. Now put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. Huh. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've been <laughs> shit before. But now you're going to suck it. I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals, and taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. I'm gonna collect poo poo. I don't know how to collect poo poo, but uh. Hey, hey, there's some dirty. It's steaming. Hey. I'm gonna have to make the sound so fast. Anybody else take a dump? Forty degrees Celsius, I'm sure. Forty-four point one. That motherfucker's sick, boss. Yeah, yeah, hundred grand a year. Is it worth it? We'll find out. Hey, um, buddy, move your fat a man. Thank you. Everything must remain sterile. Sterile must everything remain. All right. Uh, Why are you so jumpy? Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the Too big the car. to do that. That's what I was going to do. Jump scared me. I did it this time, but in the future, you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Okay. Click on the crate button. Cool. Cool, now I got drugs. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. 
Cool, you've got temporal axe. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. It's in the gadget trolley. Oh, I'm gonna break them up. How you how you load it? Is it loaded? Can I can I go shoot a giraffe now? Or I'm gonna freak that giraffe up. I'm finna go dart this giraffe. Alright. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? You good. You good, fam. Are oh, you over here? You the sick one? Are you the sick one? I don't want to say you're the sick one. Shoot your ass. I don't worry, buddy. I'd have ran too. All right. Well, uh, my work here is done. My done here is work. I'll walk under you. But wait a minute. I can't walk under you. You're talking as freak, bro. That's yeah. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. Escort you. Time to leave you alone. Why? I don't even know how to do my job yet. Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform well tonight, you'll get one in the morning. Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good luck, Paul. Don't mess up. No, I'm not one of them really cool cars. How's my wife standing beside your car? Where's my car? What's that for? Check the next enclosure. Alright. Wait a minute. Lily, sweetheart, sorry, didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning to tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We shouldn't do this, bud. We shouldn't do this. I'm going to do this because you want to do this, but we should not do this. Don't you worry, my dear. There's plenty of meat. This is going to end very bad for me. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. All right, got that done. Got that done. Go to the lobby next. Cutscene. I definitely. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll just tote their food. No harm in that, right? You put a handle on both sides so I ain't gotta walk backwards. Uh -huh. oh, Coming! Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God, finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's a scientist, Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then, one last request. Uh, look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker. That's all. 
I'll call back. Oh, Kelly, I'm going to do a shit. I'm going to do all of his shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you may not get it. What is that? Tranquilizer! Alright. Uh, Alright. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the wall of bay enclosure. It's for all these little bastards here. Uh, open the enclosure. I don't know if they're bloody. I don't know if they're bloody hungry, but I'm gonna feed them. All right, you little wallabies. How's it going, mate? Aren't you so sweet? Look at you. Look at you. So sweet. Please don't eat me. Poor slop. I had that one for some reason. It's supposed to be four of y'all. Acting a little strange. Oh, that one's sick. That's not good. Are you pukey? One of you is pukey. Oh, you little bastard. I will tranquilize you. Don't frick with me. Forty-four. I need to go get some medicine. Oh, they didn't have to bring this back just yet. But, yeah. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know what the frick that is. Every time I open that friggin' what the frick? Go out here and pop a cap and penny. Penny! <laughs> yeah. I guess everything's done here. But it should be healthy, healthy as an ox or a wallaby actually. We've cured all the animals. Great. Awesome. I hadn't had a chance to go back yet. Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. I'm sorry, man. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. What's with the ma'am? Oh, nothing. A woman called. Looking for someone named CJ. Searching for her husband. That bitch again. Although CJ's no saint either. Always hanging around some girls, lying to his wife that he's in the lab. And we don't even have labs here. Anyway, forget it. Why am I calling you? There'll be a food delivery soon, and you need to grind some fresh meat. Got it? Yes, sir. Excellent. I'll call you later. All right. All right, all right. Hello. What? We're gonna pretend like that was okay. Okay. Not weird at all. Get the gorilla next. I gotta load up some more stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. so safe here. Ah, yes, the meat delivery is here. What? 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 I mean, at Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul, it's me again. How's it going? 
Do you need any explanation? Yes. Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there... And there's a long neck pig. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into... How shall I put it? Well, monsters. And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the... What the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck! I gave a piece of meat to my wife. You did what? <laughs> Sorry, Paul. But it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. Descending to simple theft. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. You'll have to fully feel the consequences of your misdeed. And now stop whining and go to work. What? I can grind up the... Can you feel it? What? Ma'am. Okay, back to the phone. Hey, she's screaming now. Hello? The night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Why so grim? Problems? Uh, what the hell is going on here? Fuck. I almost threw a live girl into the grinder. Where did she come from? Alive? Well, well. 20 mil of xylosine and she's still with us. But fortunately, this problem is easy to solve. Pull the drop lever and the girl will turn into a couple of bricks, just like you've dealt with before. Easy peasy. Fuck! I suspected this place wasn't clean, but uh, why else such big bucks? I can grind a couple of bodies, but I'm not going to get involved in crime and risk my family. Fuck you! Well, no one is asking you. <laughs> in general, look at your hands. What the hell is this? Did you poison me? Poison? <laughs> Who do you think I am? A desperate housewife? No, Paul. I infected you. And by the way, I did it for your own good. You see dozens of parasites spread out of the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they transform, to put it mildly. Well, let's say they mutate. What the hell is this damn mother? <laughs> Not much is known about her, so they study her. But right now, the same parasite is squirming inside you. And if you behave well, they'll take it out. And if not, who knows? Maybe it will be even better for Lily and Gina. Fuck! Dang! 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 Darling, hey. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, don't, don't put her in there. Oh, that was nice. That was nice of me. <laughs> that was real nice. Right. We're not going to grind nobody up. Feed the mutated animals with human meat. Well, looks like, uh, like I'm probably gonna die soon. It'll stock up so I ain't got to uh reboot already. Ah, Scared me. Well let's go see the next batch of animals. Gorilla. Let's go. We'll see the gorillas. The gorilla enclosure. Ready? Catch y'all some nibblies.
Are you friendly? Hey, Mr. Gorilla, you're so sweet. Don't eat me, please. Let's go feed y'all. Alright, get the super duper poop scooper. And I guess this? I don't even know what they. Oh, buddy. You're burning up. Alright, knock that out in one go. You get a blood sap. Come here, buddy. Not you. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Put the hell's line suck your blood. Ah! Alright. Got my way, bro. So what we got going on in here? Diagnosis. I didn't do a blood sample on the rest of them, but I'm assuming they're probably. All right. So if only thing he's got is a temperature, RTI, which is that, which means I need to craft. Um, temporal X. It's for. Acute respiratory viral infections. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Grab it. Grab it. Alright. Piece of cake, bro. I'm not. What the frick? The heck? What the heck? That doesn't sound good. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Tranquilize it. All I'm saying is I'm not dying. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, that, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I mean, that, that's just really all I got to say about it, you know. I'm just, I am uh, definitely not about to die. 1 for you, buddy. Hit him. Frick you. Did I hit the wrong one? Did I, did I hit the wrong one? I mean, I, I must have hit the wrong one. I don't know what to do about that. Are you with three of them? I'm dying from no mutant freaking gorilla. Sucks Thor had to take it, but uh, hey, you that big boy? You at? Let's go. Don't worry, I got you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. 
Lower him down here for me, bud. Dexter, my boy. This one is over. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Ooh, you a big boy, ain't you? <laughs> big boy about to get another dart in his butt. Well, Thor's dead. I can't see. There you are. There you are. Hey, hey. Leave Dexter alone. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. What am I supposed to do with the parasite in his head, man? Job well done. A done well job. That's what I say. Done well job. No, we don't get the food. Push the trolley! You good again. Oh, it's not nasty. I'm not in the best of health. Back to the hub and check old dude's locker and see if the girl is awake yet because you know I didn't grab her up <sighs> another meat delivery hey she's awake hey chick so you got dressed not naked no more that's good it's okay I won't touch you I'm the night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. And you? Sarah Watkins, investigative journalist for Pine Valley. Thanks for saving me. Too bad I can't return the favor. What do you mean? You probably already know that you've been injected with something, some kind of parasite. You also know something about these parasites. But how do you know? Sorry, bro. Journalists don't reveal their sources. I can only say that we don't have much time. And the main thing now is to open this stupid door with a biometric lock to gather evidence for the article and expose these bastards. Can you help me? I don't think so. Nope, I can't help you. Uh, I can't help you, so I'm probably going to get another batch of meat here in just a second. Hey, mama. Is this gonna be another naked person? Yep. Naked person. This guy doesn't look very alive. This guy alive? I guess not. No quarrels here. Got three packets of meat. On to the next one, buckos. Penguins. Warning, the bio waste filler. He was like, what? I got an idea.
Wait, is this a human hand? Where did you get it? Right where you almost ended up. Somehow I feel like... Well, never mind. Try to use it on a scanner. That's what I was Yeah, playing. you can have that. Cool. Let's yeah. go see where these maniacs conduct their experiments. I'm not sure I want to go in. I just want to get through this night and go back to my family. Are you out of your mind? There's a parasite in you. You'll mutate soon. Do you think anyone will let you out of here? Anyway, it's up to you, but if I close this door, I won't let you in. Disgusting face. A pure maniac who lacks a personal life. And vitamin B9. That's Doc. My daytime shift colleague. For a daytime zookeeper, your Doc has too many scientific degrees. I bet he's the head honcho here. I'd have to agree with you. Definitely have to agree with you. Now we know who extended a helping hand to us. Poor CJ. Did you know him? No. Why? Uh, hmm. It seems they cause mutations in humans as well as animals. Oh, my cell. Battery for one call. Damn. I need to call my wife urgently. Don't call. Let's find something substantial, and then we can call the police. Sure. All right, whatever. Floppy disk? Where'd you get that? I found it in one of the lockers. Well, of course. Here's the password. Damn. You're not a hacker by any chance, are you? Not even close. I can get the password only if I know who came up with it. Damn. Then we're at a dead end. What is this? Time to deal with another mutant. Fuck. Let's still call the cops. At least they'll get us out of here. I'll think about it. I think calling the cops was the right option. Damn. The phone did die after all. What? What? I should have called my wife, bro. I was a clean pooper. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this, everyone. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you want to see a part two.